What's up, Piper Smokers? How's it going? Welcome back into the man cave. I am smoking my Luca Vanetti Natural, unfinished. Uh, it's taking on a nice color. I've had it for a while. Kind of like uh, that about these natural pipes, as they have, they kind of get that pat patina. Is that what they call it? I'm using a uh, tamper I got from a uh, pipe smoking brother, Kevin, in Australia. Shout out to you, Kevin. It says bald pipe smoker on it. He made it from uh, some Australian tree. I don't remember what he said it's from, but thanks again, Kevin. I'm smoking uh, Aaron Go Bra Irish Whiskey Pipe Tobacco. Did a review on it years ago. Um, it was alright. I had a little bit left. I saw it sitting there in a jar and I haven't smoked in a while, so I'm like, eh. It's not bad now. Maybe it gets better with age. I don't know. But, um, I'm sorry the uh, videos have been kind of uh, lower quality. I think it's 480p that I have them at because for some reason the camera I'm using won't let me for some reason make an HD video longer than a little over eight minutes even though I have plenty of memory on the card. I don't know if there's a way to change that so if I put it on VGA quality which is 480p I get like 22 minutes so anyways uh, I wanted to share with all of you some more uh, old pipe tobaccos I bought. Um, uh, the last video I showed you a bunch of them, and I've been putting them in this in my uh, humidor. I'm sure, a lot of you seen my humidor years ago when I got it a few years ago. Pretty cool. And where did I put the key? Oh, crap. Oh, here it is. Eh. Anyways, um, well, before I open that, I'll show you some of the pipe tobaccos I got. This one is called Friends. And let me know if any of you guys have heard of these. I'm sure uh, you older pipe smoking people have heard of them. This one's called Friends. 12 ounce can. It was sealed when I got it. It's still dried out though, the tobacco, so I'm trying to rehydrate it. Friends smoking tobacco. Tried and true. Mild and tasteful blend. Hey, this stuff's so good it makes you want to pet a dog or pet your dog and Looks like this guy was going hunting or fishing or something. Makes you want to hunt and fish too. Eh. But um, it's got a barcode on it, so can't be older than what the early 80s, late 70s. It comes with a uh, pen offer. Does anybody think it's still good? <laughs> Only a dollar retail value, dollar 98. Um. I've had a little bit of this blend. It's okay. It's like really dry, so I put some uh, some of those pouch discs in there. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe it'll be better with a little moisture back in it. Can's kind of hard to close. Okay. Next one, Crosby Square. Have you ever heard of Crosby Square? Cool, smoking, satisfying mixture of 100% domestic tobaccos, master blended by Kentucky Club. Smile Virginia, Carolina Brights, and White Burley tobaccos provide a light, fragrant smoke for those who prefer a natural taste and aroma. Kentucky Club, Wheeling, West Virginia. Union Made. Uh, this stuff's all right. I had a bowl of it. And I believe this tin is from 1960 because inside it had a little, little note thing. It says, do you have our new free 1960 premium catalog? And it says valuable dividend coupons. That's kind of cool. Maybe it's that old. What, that'd be 57 years old? Um, I'll put some pouch discs in this one too. It's a little dried out. It smells alright. Um, alright, on to the next one. You know, I've tried looking up a lot of these tobaccos. Um, a lot of them I couldn't really find any information on. Some of them I could, but not much. I guess uh, nobody's interested in preserving the history <laughs> of pipe tobacco. All right, next one is called uh, Jack O' Diamonds. This was made by Laris and Brother Company. 
says, uh, blended from the finest golden leaves of America, this tobacco has a subtle flavor and general aroma, soft to the touch, mild to the taste, great tobacco at a popular price. I have not tried it yet. And uh, I put it in a Ziploc bag with some uh, humidifier disc, trying to rehydrate it. Stuff was all pretty uh, dried out. And the pouch inside is kind of falling apart. So this stuff's pretty old, I guess. No barcode, so for the age of technology. And this is what it looks like. Kind of a dark tobacco. It smells. It smells a lot like the um, the old Edgeworth, the old pouch of Edgeworth um, that I had. Check out that video. That was a few videos ago. All right, next one is Sugar Barrel. This is one I really wanted to try. It got a lot of good reviews uh, online, and it's not made anymore. It's made by John Middleton. Mildly aromatic. It's packed in a pouch. It says sugar barrel mixture contains all the richness and goodness suggested by its name. It is truly a tobacco of unusual mildness, flavor, and is gently aromatic. Uh, a lot of reviewers said this stuff was uh, sweet and kind of a kind of a maple syrup, I guess, kind of taste. Um, but I was really happy to get this pouch. Uh, I'm trying to rehydrate a little bit. I did smoke a bowl right out of the pouch, all dry and everything, and it was okay. Um, it should be better with some moisture in it. I don't know. So this keeps going out because I'm talking too much and not smoking. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm glad it's Friday. Whew. The week wasn't too bad. I didn't, I worked about uh, 46 hours this week. Um, last week I think I worked 61 or something. But man, I'm glad it's Friday. I'm not working tomorrow. I usually work on Saturdays. I work like two Saturdays and take one off. So I'll work six days a week for two weeks and then only work five the next. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't think I showed this one. This one was supposed to be included in the last batch of older tobaccos that I showed you guys. Um, this one is called Saga. Saga. Flavored with cognac. Mild Cavendish cut. Uh, John Middleton. Mild blend of choice tobaccos from the old and new worlds enhanced by the flavor of connoisseur vintage cognac. For extra satisfying aroma, Saga's new adventure in pipe smoking pleasure brought to you by John Middleton, Inc. Distinguished for fine tobacco since 1856. And it's got a uh, little story on the inside there. You can see that. Got a little bottle of cognac and a pipe. This stuff smells pretty good. It's, uh, of course, super dry. One thing... One thing I've discovered is old pouches of pipe tobacco, even if they're sealed, they're dry. They're always like bone dry, as the saying goes. <sighs> Do -do -do. Saga is a story of a noble adventure. It tells of tobaccos expertly mixed for mildness, cavendish cut for extra coolness, then mellowed with a tantalizing aroma of cognac, the brandy of kings. This royal blending of two great pleasures into one new pipe smoking experience has prompted the creation of special contemporary heraldry to suggest the supremacy of its lineage. Oh, brother, it's just pipe tobacco. <laughs> you don't need this long description of it. The Lion Garden, the Fracted Chevron, the Benz, the es Escuchion of Pretense, the Pomp and Circumstance are strictly symbolical, but the result of Middleton's tobacco expertise herald an air of new smoking enjoyment. All right. Man, that's a long description. All right, what was the other one? Uh, the other one I got that was supposed to be included was called Old Chum. Old Chum. <laughs> old Chum. Smells like a fishing bait. Hey, got your old chum? All right, let's go in the boat. Uh, it's got a Canadian uh, tax seal on it. Um... 
I can't really describe the aroma, but it's super dry too, of course. Uh, Imperial Tobacco Company of Canada Limited. Okay. All right. Um, I got a pouch of Donaford pipe mixture. Donaford. Mild, satisfying English type blend. I'm not a big fan of Englishes, but I'll give it a try. Mild, satisfying English type blend of Latakia, Turkish, Virginia, Carolina, Brights, and White Burley tobaccos. Exceptionally smooth and cool burning. This easy open sealed pouch, this new sealed pouch guarantees you factory fresh tobacco. Hey, I wonder if that guarantee is still good all these years later. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, being airtight, the bag is at least 48% fresher than in the standard folded pouch, as proven by an independent testing laboratory. Kentucky Club, Wheeling, West Virginia. 48% fresher, not 47%. Not 49.5%, 48% fresher. All right. <laughs> All right, next one, Harmony. Harmony. I mean, Harmony makes your smoking tobacco. Uh, Liggett Myers Incorporated. Harmony Mixture, where good tobaccos get together, contains only the choicest, the most famous imported domestic tobaccos. No one tobacco by itself, no matter how good, could produce this remarkable Harmony flavor. It's really a good fellowship of congenial tobaccos. They're working together in Harmony. All right. Uh, let me set that aside and try. Okay, next one. Mapleton. Handy pocket pouch inside. Mapleton. Excuse me. Aromatic mixture. Nice Ace Tobacco Company. No barcode. Probably really old. A little crushed. Quality smoking mixture blended with flavorful maple and old rum. Hmm, sounds pretty good. Plastic's falling off. I think I'll just uh, take the plastic off. Man, this is really old plastic. Holy crap. Anyways, okay, so that's that one. Uh, next one. Now, a lot of you have heard of mixture number 79. I did a review on it. It has kind of a licorice flavor. I don't really like it. But I didn't know that mixture number 79 had a different version. It's uh, mixture number 79 black and burly. Um, it's got a barcode on it, so who knows how old it is. It says, a savory blend of light and dark aromatic long-cut tobaccos. I'm really curious about this one. Um, so, there you go, another version. I know I know, mixture number 79 has a cherry version. I've never had that. All right, next one is Brush Creek. Brush Creek. Smoky mixture, 48% fresher. There's that 48% fresher. Promise again. A uh, mixture of rarest imported and domestic leaves hand selected by master blenders for those who appreciate the best. So it's the rarest imported. This, maybe it's worth money. It's worth money. <laughs> Easy open pouch, 48% fresher. Yeah, we'll see. Kentucky Club. All right, next one is uh, John Rolfe pipe mixture, peach brandy flavor. Peach brandy flavor. A mild and aromatic pipe mixture. John Rolfe was the first successful tobacco planter in America. I did not know that. This tobacco named in his honor is a custom mixture of choices tobaccos, master blend of Richmond, Virginia. Less than 100 miles from Jamestown where Rolfe raised his first crop. The rich peach brandy flavor of this famous pipe mixture is protected by our new moisture-proof airtight seal pack pouch. House of Edgeworth. Um, I looked at reviews on this one. It was uh, very mixed. A lot of people hated it. Handful liked it. Next, bin 56, a John Middleton blend, bin 56. And it's got uh, the tax uh, stamp ribbon thing on it. This one's definitely old. Uh, ha, 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 okay, state of Pennsylvania. Uh, naturally rich yet smooth pipe tobacco is different from the ordinary as its unique title, bin 56. Drive from our bin number where we store and mellow this unusual tobacco. Heretofore has been available only in bulk to a few exclusive clubs and discriminating smokers who, I can, can't read it very good because it's wrinkly, who something proclaimed it, who have proclaimed it. Truly a blend of connoisseur perfection. John Middleton. Curious about this one. It feels really hard, really solid. Bin 56. Never heard of it. And last but not least... 
Dream Castle. Oh, I think I moved that. Ah, camera, sorry. Dream Castle, a mild aromatic smoke, black label. See that? Dream Castle Tobacco Company, San Francisco. Now, I do have another one from Dream Castle. Uh, you saw my last video of this champagne blend. This is also Dream. Oh, no, wait, this isn't Dream Castle. It's Greenfield and Winter. My mistake. Never mind. Scratch that. Dream Castle Tobacco Company. I think I've heard of Dream Castle. I think they make um, Super Value. Super Value, is that the name of it? Yeah, Super Value. That really cheap stuff. <laughs> I've done reviews on that one, too. Um, but I don't think they're in San Francisco any longer. Six choice types of leaf tobacco from Virginia and Kentucky, properly seasoned with Louisiana Perique and Syrian Latakia make Dream Castle Black Label a smooth body and smoking mixture of mild aroma. Sounds interesting. It's got the, uh, the tax label on it. Hi, son. A shadow caught a mouse. Oh, good. Good for him. Uh, one of our cats caught a mouse. That's good. It's my son there. All right. So anyways, those are the, uh, the backies, the tabackies that I got. Uh, you know, one thing I really like about this hobby is, I mean, just the hundreds and hundreds of blends that are out there to try. Um, I really get a kick out of this hobby. Uh, I really enjoy it. All the neat old tobaccos I can try. One thing I did found, find out apart from tobacco, old tobacco and pouches being really dry is a lot of times the flavor is kind of gone. Um, I guess sometimes the age, you know, when it dries out, it just doesn't hold the flavor anymore. I think that's why that uh, Friends Tobacco and the Crosby Square were kind of bland when I smoked them. I guess the best way to enjoy the old tobacco is when it's in a tin, when it's sealed in those tins, vacuum sealed. So it keeps all the moisture, plus it ages and stuff. So, oh well, still fun though, right? Um, I hope all of you enjoy uh, watching these videos of me showing you these old pipe tobaccos. I get a kick out of it. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell in the 480p quality, but I'm starting to grow a beard. I've never had a, I mean, I had a beard, if you look at some of my older videos from a year or two ago, I had kind of the beard going. But this time I'm going to do the whole... Because I would shave my neck before, up to a certain point. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Boom. See how I look. <laughs> be the first time having that full beard. Oh, I better close the humidor. I'll let you know uh, what I think about these old tobaccos. Um, I need to do some reviews soon on um, the Granger and uh, the Sambora Black Cavendish. Oh. I have a regular smorgasbord pipe tobacco. Anyways, um, Thanks for stopping by on my channel. Thank you all you subscribers. Thumbs up if you like it. It's getting smoky in here. <laughs> uh, God bless all of you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.